That's my dump. Check out all this good stuff. I already picked through it. Got what I want. Power washer there. I might take. I'm not sure yet. Echo hedge trimmer. Some old Toro walk behinds. Snapper. That's pretty wasted. The walker back there all apart. The back of the truck. I got a Toro recycler. Pretty good shape. I got a little two cycle uh, rototiller, still chainsaw, still handheld blower. But over there, someone at the dump. Put it over there for their self. So I'm gonna find out. A nice Taurus snowblower. So I'm gonna see if I can figure out who put that there if they want to get rid of it. Uh, when they put it over to the side, I don't touch them because, you know. They're taking it for themselves, but it's always good to X around. I'm gonna go over in the wood pile now and look. Okay, guys, this is the saw I found in the wood pile. Pretty dirty, but uh, for the heck of it, I checked the gas, there was none in it. So I went and I put gas in it. Gave it about seven, eight pulls and it started right up. Runs really well. Throttle responds good, idles good. Uh, I think someone had it in their shed and just had it sitting and uh, didn't want it no more. So uh, let me uh, get it outside. I'll show you how it runs. Okay, so let's see if it's gonna start. Got the camera guy over there. Choke, like I said, all I just put gas in there. I did start it already. Choke. Okay, off choke. chain on it. We'll put that up for sale. And I also found these jack stands at the dump today too. They're a little cheesy cheap, but you know what? They'll work around the shop. I wouldn't hold my truck up with it, but back of a back of a tractor, you know, lawn tractor or garden tractor will work fine. So that's my find. Okay here we are in all the storage and look at all the uh Still power heads and weed eaters, whole pile of them. Uh, some of them will run. There was a couple, I think two in there that seemed like the motor was seized, but uh, I'll strip those for parts. And I also uh, got another still chainsaw there that I found at the dump. That's a MS-170, completed, you know, sure this will run pretty good. It's just amazing what people throw away. It looked like a landscaper must have cleaned out. And I found this still handheld blower. That's a BG-860C. Haven't did nothing with that yet. Here's a hedge trimmer attachment for one of the power heads. And this is just all up in the Harbor Freight storage up in the loft that I made. Uh, there goes the chainsaw. So, this is the Echo that I was talking about. Haven't did nothing with it, but just brought it home. And this was down at the dump too. This is a CS4. Uh, 4400. You see someone that got a carburetor kit for it. 
see the hose sticking out of it. Uh, the case is all full of bar oil and everything, so some kind of part in here. I don't know what that is. Another one. Well, I'll get that out, clean that up, and see what we got to get. But that's a that's a pretty nice saw. So that that's another dump find. Yeah, that's that. That's the stuff that I uh, found at the dump. Some of it. Uh, we got more here. Uh, that still actually is a customer's, but Husqvarna someone gave me. I think that needs a carburetor, hedge trimmer. And then if you go out here, I got stuff all over. Well, let's go back here first. I ran out of uh, tarps to cover stuff. So I gotta go get some more covers, you know. So this this is all dumped fine. Craftsman that runs. Pull on that uh, needs some help. Rototilla with a Honda engine that runs. And we got the uh, little Rototilla that was in the back of the truck in the video. Now the Craftsman little Edger. Uh, that's just the empty chainsaw case and a couple other a couple other mowers back there so that's all dump stuff from uh, that I got this fall so I'm not messing with any of this stuff until the spring but that's not all because actually you probably can't see but underneath my porch there's more push mowers under those tarps Over here we got snow blower from the dump. I need to get that running, get that out. Troy built from the dump, a couple Toros, Husqvarna, and I don't even know what I got back there. Another couple of, I think one might be a Troy built and another a Toro uh, there. That's a customer's under there. Over here. There's a good find. I got two of these from the dump. This one I just got recently. Honda. I gotta cover this one up. I got two of them. The other one is underneath this tarp. And I don't want to take the whole tarps off, but I got a bunch of push mowers under there. There's a Toro there that you can see. I got three commercial zero turn uh, the Bobcats. I bought those. There's three of them. I bought them for $100 each. So I'll fix those up and I'll, I'll get good money for that. But all the push mowers, which is one here. And I got them behind there and in front of here. As you can see, kind of, they're all stacked up dump two craftsman's lt 1000s i had given to me haven't did nothing with those henry from mower and blowers we got talking uh on that toro real mower that he got uh, may, maybe we'll make a deal but we'll see i don't know i haven't had much time to mess with them there's the bobcat you can see part of it there so yeah i got a lot of uh push mowers to get ready to put up for sale uh, this spring you know I just do that make a little extra money because uh, my main thing is you know repairing and servicing like that walker there so yeah so here's my shop which you can see Got my doom buggy in it and my motorcycles now. So now, uh, I'll give you a little inside tour of my new shop and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, guys, that's it for now. So, uh, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe. 
Hit that thumbs up. And we'll see you on the next one. Boneyards out.